Well, it's tough to travel these days. If you're looking for a vacation but do not want to leave your home, why not check out Sea Monster Cove? With a click of your mouse, we'll transport you to a five-star island paradise where you can spend endless hours visiting the most advanced aquariums ever designed, harboring the most terrifying prehistoric sea creatures in our planet's history. Yikes! Wow, Sea Monster Cove is the first ever virtual experience that takes you to a remote island in the Western Pacific. You can learn about sea creatures, including a remote learning platform and museum. Joining us now to talk more about it is the site's creator and best-selling author of the Meg books, Steve Alton. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. I tell you, I, I, I loved the Meg and I love this, this big idea of the prehistoric shark, but now it's kind of come to life on a computer and you, what do you insert yourself into these, these experiences? How does it work? Well, when you go to the website, www.seamonstercove.com, uh, you're able to visit the aquariums that hold these uh, sea creatures. And we've got an entire backstory that goes with it, how they came to be still alive and avoid extinction, why on this island, which is called Mog, which sort of sounds like Meg, but it's M-A-U-G, in the uh, Northern Marianas Islands. And at Mog, there's a, a lagoon that used to be a, a, the magma chamber for a giant volcano. And it's actually pumping in superheated mineral water which keeps these creatures alive so there's a whole backstory but you get the most exciting part is you get to engage with these creatures and and they know that you're watching them and some of them some of them actually don't like it yeah it looks like uh, the clip we're looking here looks like there's some sort of like a uh, room there a hotel room uh, how does this work yeah that's uh the shark is uh snowflake one of our two uh, domesticated sharks uh their prehistoric mako is about 60 to 70 feet long and Snowflake's tank backs up to the uh, hotel suites in the Black uh, the Black Cove Inn. And uh, so you actually can stay in the hotel and watch Snowflake swim by while you're in there relaxing. So it's like a whole story. And I know the Meg, the Meg series of books has taken off. How did you come up with this whole concept? Did you see Jaws and then you're like, what if it was a prehistoric shark? Well, when I wrote Meg, yeah, I was a big Jaws fan that was when I was about 15 years old. And I read everything I could get about uh, real star shark attack stories. And there was always a little blurb about Carcarina megalodon, this uh, prehistoric great white. And this is actually a megalodon tooth. Wow. And um, so these creatures were real, but there was not much written about it. And 20 years later, I happened to read a Time magazine about the Mariana Trench and hydrothermal vents. And I thought, you know, this would be a, a great place to write a book and put the megalodons down there and see if that worked, and it worked out. Yeah. And so uh, you're working on turning this into a TV series? Yeah, the original idea was to make it a TV series, but then I realized, you know, I really want to see these creatures for myself. I want to see what they would really have looked like. And we got involved with some amazing 3D animators who make uh, motion pictures, uh, special effects for major motion pictures, and, and they loved the idea. And, and so we worked together for about eight months and launched the site. And now you can actually be with these creatures in different ways. And there's also a TV series we're working on, a, a video game, and, and like you had mentioned earlier, a, a learning dis, uh, distant learning program. Well, it's very cool. For more information, you can check out seamonstercove.com and adoptanauthor.com. Thanks so much for joining us, Steve. Thanks for having me.